We got incoming! <laughs> Anytime, anywhere! Semper Fi! Bag em and tag em! Hoorah! Notch up another kill. Anytime, anywhere. Anytime, anywhere. I got your back. Stay frosty. Anytime, anywhere. Bag em and tag em. Stay frosty. Simplify. Notch up another kill. I got your back. Anytime, anywhere. Bag em and tag em. Anytime, anywhere. I got your back. Bag em and tag em. Stay frosty. Anytime, anywhere. My parents were scientists. They taught me biology is war. To win, a species must endure. Reproduce. Survive. The foes we're about to face evolved to win at all costs. They don't care about their losses. So long as they're the last ones standing. They're as cunning, adaptable, and tenacious as any marine. But they lack our purpose, our conscience, and our mercy. Fortieth Marine Expeditionary Unit. This fight is not a simple bug hunt. Know our enemy. Know your strengths. Work together and live to fight another day. Ship signing off. Colonel Ship signing off. Shake the cryo-freeze off, Marine. We got woke by a distress call. A Dr. Tim Hanukkah sent a mayday from an orbital refinery. Situation ain't clear, but on the outer rim, there's always a chance of xenomorphs. Board the station, find Hanukkah, and extract them. 
Staff Sergeant Herrera will be the voice in your ear. She'll guide you, warn you of enemy movements, and provide support. Might want to talk to Herrera before you deploy. Hey, we didn't get a chance to brief earlier. Short version, while you're on the tip of the spear, I'll be in the dropship with El Tico running Overwatch and eating my abuela's cookies. You listen to what I say, I'll get your ass out in the smallest possible number of pieces. And you can have a cookie. You got any questions? Now's the time. Did the penejos at the Recruit Depot give you any briefing? Or they just kick your ass into cryo and call it a day? The Endeavor's a Tianxin class assault ship, cutting edge of the United America's fleet. Built at Puelches Station, commissioned in 2194. Remember the old Conestoga attack transports from the 70s? Well, we're about three times the size. More self-sufficient, more amenities, bigger guns. Hell no, I'll be in the platoon tack ops center running shit by remote. Better me than some butter bark on my mierda fresh out of OCS, huh? Usually I'm in a dropship on Overwatch. When we ain't got air superiority, I'm dirt side in an APC. Hey, we didn't get a chance to brief earlier. Sure, you listen to what I say? Okay, did the penejos at the Recruit Depot give you- Remember the old Conestoga attack transports from the 70s? Well, we're- Hell no, I'll be in the platoon tack ops center running shit by remote. Better me than some butter bark on my mierda fresh out of OCS, huh? Usually I'm in a dropship on Overwatch. When we ain't got air superiority, I'm dirt side in an APC. When things have really gone to shit, I'll be in a foxhole brushing dirt off a laptop with one hand and shooting with the other. Point is, I run ranged sensors and tech support for you. For anything I can't handle, I call Esther. Our battalion synthetic, an android. She's a medical corpsman, science advisor, electronic warfare tech, and MFLC. That's a military and family life counselor. Fancy way to say she listens if you got issues. While we're in the freezers for long trips, Esther and Endeavor's mother computer keep the ship running. She doesn't normally deploy, but we get her on the radio to solve problems. You and me both. Let's do this. Fire team, this is a rescue mission. You're boarding Katanga, a derelict orbital refinery. Ingress is via the forward airlock. You'll locate, secure, and evac Dr. Tim Honecker, a Weyland Yutani scientist. So mount up, people. We got a ping on Dr. Honecker's personal data transmitter. He's not far in. First, we need a deck plan. Pull one off a terminal in chlorine extraction.
just emergency lights. And maybe we can kick the backup power after we grab Hanukkah. Generator is beyond Hanukkah's ping. We can kick it after we grab him. should be in the junction ahead. Honecker, this is the Colonial Marines. You hearing me? Not encouraging. Continue your sweep.
here. High speed incoming, get hot. Short burst. More than I expected. Signal from behind. Too many. So many. Hey, on the deck, Hanukkah's PDT chip. He cut it out. But it's life. Doors welded shut. Sloppy work. Guess Hanukkah went this way. Prowler. idea how to track down Honecker. Searching this whole barge would take too long. That thought incoming.
just a flesh wound. Starboard of your position. Xenos! Lots of Xenos! Synthetic. Keep moving aft. that never run into an acid spitting morph where did these come from While Lister reviews the data, you can get the power up. Dynamo room's just ahead. up is gonna make noise, vibration, heat, whatever bugs key off, they'll catch it. This thing's been idle a long while. It's gonna take time to... Movement! Bypassing damage. Damn 
here. Just about to give power to the mains. Follow-up engineering team to get that mess fixed proper. Keep heading aft toward the core. Assistance required. Got another swarm brewing. Break out the heavy shit. This is gonna get spicy. leaks. Never a good sign in space. Listen. If we don't find this guy alive, I'm gonna kill him. See you there. Still good, Marines? That's the lift. Entrance on the far side. Generator. Exp 
expect little friends to pop out all over when this turns on. All my boards just lit up. Brace for it, Marines. Got a scan of Katanga's black box? Nice! Look at that thing. It's what, 80 years old? These big refineries were supposed to be the future. Park them in orbit, fill them up, then tow them home while it all gets processed en route. They were made to mine metallic asteroids. Let me scan the logs real quick. In the early 70s, Seeks and refit Katanga to crack ice. They'd haul a berg into the top of the Kasi Tower, and the works grounded down into water and byproducts. All that got piped over to Bashi Tower, the 
water got purified, and they split it into hydrogen and oxygen. You get life support and ship propellant. Huh. Entry stop in 2177. The last ones are about receiving evacuees and then... some kind of exterior override. Here's a speech, pay attention. I'm in the middle of six annoying things, and neither of us want you to become number seven. When you boarded, you got four basic field kits. Solid armad equipment, no frills, enough to do your job. You got setups for rifle, heavy weapons, tech, and medical. Based on the missions you complete, you get assigned requisition credits. You come to me, ask for the equipment, and if you got the credits, I fabricate it for you. You can requisition new weapons, or attachment for weapons, or consumables, special ammunition, sentry guns, mines, whatever. I let marines pick their own gear. You deploy with the wrong shit, you're the one who bites it, not me. Talk to your fire team, work out who's doing what. You're in the field, boot. When you get back to port, hit the commissary or exchange. <laughs> That's my official answer. Between you, me, and the bulkhead, I also got a special inventory. Stuff to personalize your gear. I don't take requisition credits for that. We got an unofficial system. Anybody asks, just say you tactically acquired it. Anything not on the racks, I can pull out of cargo for. Yo, I got socks, I got stems, I got spreadable cheese type. I think we've acquired a few things you'll find interesting.
Esther says my backroom stock is unhealthy. Too much salt, fat, and sugar. Okay. Regulations require me... Look, tell Herrera it takes this stuff away. Okay, well... Let's see what fell off the... Hey, if you happen to acquire... A moment, please. I am collating with Mother. Got a scan of Katanga's black box? <laughs> I'm Ibrahim Savani, Colonial Marines Intelligence, Surveillance, and Recon Service. Yes, most Marines call us Kamisars. No, we're not as bad as you've heard. Katanga has over 80 years of history, but the interesting bit is from 25 years ago. Its owner, Sikson Company, reported the refinery was destroyed. Yet, here it floats, in a system controlled by Sikson's rival, Wayland Yutani. We compile information on threats to the United Americas and provide it to the Corps to act on. Our sources range from battlefield recon to cyber warfare. Some believe we have spies everywhere, but that's simply not true. If everyone worked for us, who would we spy on? <laughs> that, that, that was a joke. <laughs> we, we joke sometimes. In the previous century, they were a moderately large interstellar corporation. They even had aspirations of competing with Wayland Yutani. Sikson invested heavily in space facilities. In 2174, they purchased Katanga from its previous owner. The refinery was refit and towed to the mid brim. Katanga was originally constructed 82 years ago by Kinshasa Enterprise Diatat Minier, the state mining enterprise of the DR Congo. In 2170, Kinetat fell under sanction by the United Americas Assembly. They had sold resources to the revolutionary forces during the Hyades' revolts. To survive the financial losses, they auctioned off their space assets. That's when Sigson purchased Katanga. Unclear. The ICC logged that Sigson scuttled it due to irreparable damage. There are no details on the cause or scope of that damage. You'd expect insurers to demand that. I'm following up with Central. If we learn something you need to know, you'll be informed. Have you read Dr. Grant's book on xenobiology? Ah, xeno-xenobiology. The xenobiology of xenomorphs. <clears throat> it's reasonably accurate, despite being based on purely unclassified sources. Katanga has over 80 years of history, but the interesting bit is from 25 years ago. Its owner, Sikson Company, reported the refinery was destroyed. Yet, here it floats, in a system controlled by Sikson's rival, Wayland Yutani. Unclear. 
the ICC log that Sikhs and Skaro did do to irreparable damage. There are no details on the cause or scope of that damage. You'd expect insurers to demand that. In the previous century, they were moderately large. In Katanga was originally considered to survive the financial... We trust your exercise in due caution. Katanga has over 80 years of history. But the inter in the previous century, the Katanga was originally to survive the financial losses. Unclear. The I... this does this look right to you oh I have to do everything myself Hanukkah is somewhere up on Katanga's mainframe decks. Looks like he's been searching for a safe place to hide from all the Xenos aboard. Our mission hasn't changed. Find him, get him out alive. Honaker, you out there? Staff Sergeant Herrera, Colonial Marines. He's in a radio dead zone. Patch into the local network. Honecker, you read? Yeah. 
Yeah, a lot clearer. Listen, to get to me, you'll have to go through the network security room. Hear that? Shit! down the deck. The overrides in network security up in the op center. Hey, is everything okay? I heard gunfire. Just the sound of bugs meeting the bottom of a combat boot. You're here. I can see you on my monitors now. Wait! Xenomorphs! Heading to you! Let us handle it. in Paula Station went very differently. Sorry. Uh, have you seen a gray striped xenomorph? Striped? No. Have you been down to the surface? Did you make any arrests? We can't discuss operations on an open channel, Doc. Uh, right. Yeah, of course. Prowler. Listen. A lot of old acid damage. Uh, yeah, that, that was me. Bring some pipes to blow.
everything Xenos. <laughs> that, that just beats everything. Got a mechanical fit. Running? Well, they still died to bullets, Doc. Marines, cut the door. Working Joes. Ain't those Seeks and robots? Yeah, well, Seeks and used to own... In front! And behind! So, uh, the halls between you and me are 120 below zero, so... You'll have to cut the refrigerant to reach me. I, um, it broke the valve. Tossed the wheel in a side room. Sorry. Yeah, that's it. Just attach it to the valve in the pump room. You know that I keep seeing it. I think I rewired the locks to the server core. The locks disengaged. Great, you're good to go for. Did you? Oh, you're about to get eaten.
follows me, followed me, and we, they made it, in the lab on LV-895, they came up here with us, we didn't know until, the woman who, the one it came out of, her name was Monica. It's only supposed to be opened by company admins. Unlocking takes a couple minutes. Locks are dropping. I hope you can... Good luck. They're coming.
I was asked to summarize Dr. Honecker's debriefing for you. He was assigned to Palace Station, a Wayland yutani research facility on the surface of LV-895. The Palace Station team developed weapons from Xenomorph XX-121. In particular, they explored the effects of a mutagenic agent. Xenomorphs and other test subjects were loosed by a containment breach. The majority of the staff perished. Unclear. Small amounts were delivered by the company. The science team was not told its origin. They referred to it as pathogen. As biogenetics is not Dr. Honecker's specialty, he is unable to provide details. No, his degree is in archaeology. He claims he was lured here by the promise of access to alien artifacts. Pardon. To be clear, I refer to artifacts from a technologically advanced alien civilization, not xenomorphs. Given that humanity has never recorded conclusive evidence of a tool using alien civilization, Dr. Honecker was understandably intrigued. Dr. Honecker and some of his colleagues fled Pala Station in a shuttle. It launched on a pre-programmed course to Katanga. Unfortunately, two creatures stowed aboard. They killed one, and you met the other, the mutated xenomorph he called Monica. The doctor was the only survivor. You are familiar with the xenomorph reproductive process? It was gestated within a woman named Monica. Dr. Honecker seems unwilling to discuss it further. There was discord between the science team and Wayland Yutani's manager, Administrator Bellows. In particular, Mr. Bellows ordered the use of human convicts to breed xenomorphs. Dr. Honecker doubtless hoped we had taken his employers into custody to face charges. Should you wish to review, I will keep the information on file for you. A moment, please. I am collating with Mother. He was assigned to Palace Station, a Wayland yutani research facility on the surface of LV-895. The Palace Station team developed weapons from Xenomorph XX-1 clear. Small amino. His, given that human Dr. Honecker, they killed one. You are familiar there was... Remember to take your combat stims. He was assigned to Pal Palace Station T. No, his degree is in archaeology. He claims he was lured. Given that humanity has never recorded conclusive evidence of a tool using a Dr. Honecker and some of his colleagues, fl they killed one and you met the other. The mutated Z. There was discord between the science team and you are familiar with the Xenomorph... Well, we found Honecker. Now we've got to get him safely back to the Endeavor. Lieutenant Ko will bring our dropship into one of the refinery hangars. Escort Honecker down to us for pickup. His safety's on you.
regulations prohibit taking aboard xenomorphic parasites. Any of you come back with a makeup buddy, my lock stays sealed. Take a sidearm. Fire team. Honaker don't have any VA suit. Get it to our dropship in one piece. Bottom of the core. That's, uh, a lot of water. Here they come! I can't aim for shit, but I could shoot. Swarm coming in. More of them from the sides. Junction's clear. Direct route's blocked. I got no connection to those compartments. We'll bypass below decks. Eight flights. Subject 3A. the whole bottom of the station. Right. Bypass Mark 1, Mod 1, head through, waste processing. Yeah, water shouldn't be toxic, but I wouldn't soak in it. They're in the ducts! to ring your socks on, huh? Ambush. No power to the door. Hit the backup generator, far into the room.
They're coming. Cipher. Perhaps check the logs of the maintenance synthetics? Accessing. I have the code for you. Let's bypass this. This is your pickup. Beginning dropship approach to the refinery. 
No response from Hangar Delta's ALS. Diverting to Epsilon. Another swarm rolling on your position. result. So, we're safe. Hold that thought, Doc. Wayland Yutani synths brought local animals up to uh, replenish the hive, then eggs back down for experiments. They bred Xenos. Yes. Prowler. I have no link to Pridefly. I can't run the launch sequence by remote. Shore party, you'll prep the hangar. Start depressurization when you are ready. When you hit that, every Xeno in the vents will pour out. Doc, you boarding? All right, here we go. It's a big room. This'll take time. Right on time. Here come the bugs. Keep them off us. Offline your cell phone. Run! 
right flank.
Messes in Siege Show Party, flip and burn in 15. Remember to tense your legs. Anyone who passes out gets their picture on Shipnet. How much like what Hanukkah had to say? Wailing you tiny ran Katanga like a fucking ant farm. Used androids to bring up animals from the moon, left them on the refinery for the Xenos, took the eggs back down to the lab. There's a queen aboard Katanga, laying those eggs. SOP says, Phew. that's when you pull out a final insurance claim. We'll deal with Katanga later. Right now, Colonel Ship wants us down on LV-895. Hanukkah says some whaling Yutani people disappeared before his group evac. Could be there's other survivors looking for rescue. You could get the details on the surface conditions from Lieutenant Ko. She'll be flying you and Herrera down. Herrera cheats at cards. You know that, right? Our landing zone's a couple of clicks from Pala Station, at the base of the mountains to the west. You won't need any special gear. The environment is close enough to Earth. There's native life, but you probably won't have to worry about it. The Xenos that Honaker's idiot employers let loose are a bigger threat. Pala's the source of the Xeno outbreak? I had enough bugs on my canopy in Katanga's hangar, thanks. Can't believe Herrera wouldn't let me fire missiles. You'd have ducked. Esther says there's tunnels in the mountains near our LZ. Colonel Ship thinks it's the direction any survivors would run, and the Commissars agree with her. Well, around Pala Station, the air's about Earth normal. Pressure 908 millibars. Little heavier on CO2. No obvious toxins or allergens. Take the regulation antihistamines anyway. If you end up climbing a mountain, you'll have a problem. Low-lying areas have thick atmo, but it attenuates fast. A lot like Mars after we terraformed it. Gravity is 0.92. That's... odd. But it means you won't notice any difference from shipboard artificial grav. The diameter of LV-895 is just under 9,000 clicks. Three quarters the size of Earth. That small, but 92% Earth's gravity doesn't add up. To get that gravity, the moon would need to be made of something stupid, like... 50% iron or full of radioactives. Something real dense, you know? But our readings say conventional rock mix. Only rumors leaking out of Honaker's debrief. Something about big color changing cats. According to Wayland Yutani's officially filed survey data, we're orbiting a barren rock. No life. Prebiotic atmo. You can look out a porthole and see that's wrong. Or a lie. A shirt sleeves habitable world, no terraforming needed. Low investment, high return. Maybe they didn't declare it to avoid competition. Just remember, Wayland managers tend to store profit margins and promotion tracks where their brains should be. If you run into any, watch your back. <laughs> 